Hey everybody, uh, it's Hawk here. Um, I am at my parents' place because I'm going to do a favor for Shad because he asked in his last video about uh, gun knives if someone in America could test this for him to see if there's an accuracy drop when you fire a gun with a knife attached to it. I don't have an actual gun knife, so I have now taken my 22 Ruger and I have duct taped a knife to it. Uh, now I will be shooting at the camera for you so you guys can see at that uh, it's nothing more than a piece of uh, large I'm gonna say cardboard paper it's really thick like construction style paper and it's just a piece of cardboard stuck on top of it it's at approximately 15 yards 15 paces which I took big steps so yards is what I'm calling it it's close enough for so close enough for this as long as I'm consistent from where I shoot from um, so I will Start. All right. uh, so I will be starting with um, clearly the knife attached. Again, it's just the ends, just so you guys can see. Uh, it is nothing more than a Ruger 22 revolver, single action, with a old. And yes, I, I know it's missing a tip. It's a very old hunting knife. Uh, I chose this one because I was actually paranoid about the gun hitting the tip of the knife. But well. As you can see, it's slightly off-center, so that wasn't something I had to be concerned about in the first place. But, uh, let's, let's just get into it. Okay, so this is better than the first time I did this. So I've got all six shots on the cardboard. Though it does seem to be pulling slightly to the left. Now, again, I'm not sure if that's me. So we've got there, 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 and there. And we've got two in the center here. Which isn't so bad considering this hunk of cardboard ain't all that big. So I'm going to go take this off, and we're going to go get a new piece up. I have clearly removed the knife. I will again fire six shots at a fresh piece of cardboard this time, and then I will compare and contrast the two to see how good we did. Okay, so at a glance, all of them are here. Um, I, actually, no, one correction, I think I missed one. Yes, I did. This one just tore a little weird. Uh, so I did miss one. So again, human error comes into play here. But at a glance, these are more tightly grouped, which makes it easier to correct for mistakes. So we'll take this, and we're going to go compare the two here but so with the knife we've got all of them are on the cardboard got all six shots here this one I did miss one just one just over here however this is very obvious the ones without the knife are far more tightly grouped than the ones with the knife as you can see they're they're kind of all over the place this is all in a fairly tight spread which this one is just simple to correct you just drift a little more to the right and you can fix it. This one's up and down and all over the place, which makes sense. However, I'll be honest, I'd probably take the one with the knife attached to it over the one without, because when you're out of shots, you got something to work with. So that's good from that perspective. Um, but yeah, there does appear to be, even accounting for human error, um, that definitely seems to be a real difference uh, when having one or not. All right, now I've taken out the chamber of my revolver for safety purposes for when I'm doing this last one. Uh, to answer Chad's other question as to why a gun would not be mounted thusly, 
And yes, I know I'm not using an actual sword. I don't have an actual European sword, and I know that's a it's a grave sin against sword collecting, but why would it not be mounted like this, like your Cervantes, and then you just shoot that way? Well, several issues. How do you mount this? Seriously, look at this. How do you how do you mount this thing? I mean, you could theoretically just have the sword coming out the top and something like this. Kind of have the tang worked into the handle, but how this won't work with the revolver because you can't operate the hammer. Um, this could work with a sort of flintlock uh, pan fired gun, possibly. But again, you get into this issue of how do you actually make this work? And then on top of it, you are now fighting with a sword with a pistol handle jutting out like this. It's. I mean, if I hold it like this and it sticks up straight this way. How do I fight with it like that? Now, if I have the sword like this, and I'm firing like that, um, it's... No, notice the difference in grip here. Okay, uh, here, I'll get a little closer. Uh, notice the grip difference. This isn't exactly straight up. It's so my hand can sit like that. Any more comfortable one. This one, I am hammer gripping. Now, of course, you would change the handle a bit, but now imagine having a sword handle coming out the top of this. So you get something, maybe let's put it at an angle. It's still a little awkward. Now, the big part of this is, is that, get my knife out. We have a pistol. I add a knife to the pistol. That's what you do here. You have a pistol, whether it's a revolver or not, and you have added a pistol to it. Because it's easy to do that. Because a knife doesn't take much. In the case of a sword, you have to be a little more picky, as it were. They didn't add a sword to a pistol. You know. Like that. Like that. Something equally ridiculous. What they did is, they added a pistol to a sword. Because they mounted it, with a power box one anyway, they mounted it here. And then you would fire it. I would assume you'd actually hold on to it something like this. And then you'd fire it like that. Personally, I would have mounted it more like this, and held it that way. So, I guess now that I'm holding it this way, you'd have to have a pretty big quillion. Though that's not necessarily a deal breaker. But yeah. So Shad, uh, my recommendation would be, I don't think it would work solely because you either have welded a sword blade on the top of your pistol, so just imagine that, which means there's a wonderful point of weakness here because you don't have a tang going all the way down. Or, you've mounted a sword, like, let's just say we remove the hammer here. You have a sword blade jutting out the back of your handle. Okay, well now I have to hold the pistol like this and not get my hand, I mean, I could have a big metal flat here to put my thumb on, and then I could shoot, but I have to kick my thumb away around, the well, left side I guess won't be so bad. You can stick one over here and do it that way. But, Gotta jet your finger around that, and then I'm now imagining a sword blade coming up the top of this, and I have to fight like yeah, I'm I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this at all. I don't think you can thrust real well with it, which is a bit of a problem. So, pistol knife, yes. Pistol sword in this build, sure, I get it, because the guy comes at you. You just point the sword down, and then you just pull the trigger, get your one shot off, and then you fight like it's a normal sword. Pistol sword like this. No. However, this might not be so bad. Be a little weird, because then I'd be asking why you didn't just mount it like this, and then make it more of a pistol. But this might not be so bad, because there'd be less force being exerted on it. But this good, this not so good. Peace out, everybody.